everyone, my name is Fretos and welcome to this new video of Zetas Skylines. And I'm finally back. I had to take a, a long break from uh, uploading because I wasn't feeling good. I was feeling dizzy, I was feeling sick. But turns out that I only needed glasses. And now that I have glasses in my life, I can finally read on the computer, I can finally play games on a comfortable position whereas before I had to stay one feet away from the screen or I wouldn't be able to see anything pretty much I mean, you know, I could see but everything was blurry so it was kind of pain in the ass but the good thing is now that that's been dealt with and I can finally come back and do more videos and I was also taking my time thinking, you know, I, I spend a lot of time thinking. I think it's a bad habit, but I'm, I'm dealing with it. So I was thinking how to present this video or the whole series. And I don't know, uh, I want to try out something like a story. Uh, I want to, to create, I want to build this city with somewhat a background story. Um, I don't have anything written, I don't have anything like in a, in an algorithm, in a, in a diagram or I don't know, I don't know how writers call this, I, I guess it's a concept, but all I know is that it's set somewhere in the future and uh, the scenario is like post-apocalyptic you know, after great disasters happened and after wars uh, happened, so uh, in, in other terms, in short words, shit happened and people is looking for a place to start all over again. So I think it's an interesting topic because I was actually looking at the, at the workshop looking for new assets uh, to try out and there's a lot of awesome assets and they look really nice and a lot of really nice architecture out there but I was thinking why not try and build something that looks ugly in the in the whole spectrum of the world why not try to build something that actually looks ugly and I'm talking about something like a shanty town so these first videos are gonna be about building that shanty town which is gonna have a lot of ugly shacks and all kinds of trash and abandoned cars abandoned trucks uh, trash dumpsters landfills uh, trash decals and you know you know what's my point here so, um, what I'm gonna be building, well, what I'm building right now in the time lapse, you can see it's mostly roads and placing some decals, making it look nice. But at the point where I was recording this, I didn't really know how to uh, start with this series. So I just started to, well, you know what, let's just. Uh, start with the with this town and see what happens next and as I was building uh, more ideas came to my mind so it was like why not start from zero and then after we manage to build this uh, ghetto town shanty town <laughs> uh, we expand a little bit more and try to make it look nicer um, as the series progress and I think that is gonna be the worst way, the best way to uh, to approach this, because uh, I want this town to look nice, but I also don't want to uh, leave the opportunity to make or to build something that is somewhat like a shanty town, like a lot of thrash around. So I want to have this kind of ghetto area, but I also want to have the really nice areas all together like you would see in a shelter next to a town 
in this case, I guess according to the story, it would be uh, people came over here and start started building their shacks with whatever they found, whatever research they found. So, um, in rough terms, this time lapse should have been only the the building of the of this little town. Uh, I mean the shanty town, not the not the whole town. I, I know it's like it's a bit confusing, but you will see in just a minute or a couple minutes, uh, like five minutes to be honest. Yeah, you will see in five minutes what I mean. But regardless, um, so you see that I am placing all these roads and trying to make it look like the roads you would see in the mountains and I think that's gonna give it uh, a very nice look once it's finally done and I also want to have this effect with the with the roads and the and the tiers different tiers where you can see the each row of houses when you are going uphill I think that that's pretty nice and I've seen that in in many mountain mountain tower town towns not towers I've seen that in a lot of towns that are placed or located located in the mountains sorry about English uh, yeah English is abandoning abandoning me <laughs> whatever uh, so as you can see the roads the main layout of these roads it's it's there uh, it might change, it might not, but we will have to see. I mean, um, we haven't seen anything yet about the story itself, um, so I guess this is gonna be episode number zero, and the actual episode number one will be the next one, because <laughs> this one is like um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, not really uh, organized at all, but that's that's how I usually do my things um, so yeah there's not a whole lot to say about this time-lapse in particular until a few minutes after so I'm gonna let it run and I'll see you when the action of the shanty town happens
Okay, now it's a good time to start talking about the um, the town itself. Uh, what I was talking about earlier was these little shacks that I got from the workshop. As you can see, they are ugly. They are definitely beautiful in their whole ugliness. It is hard to explain because I've never done something like this before in the game. I've never done something that was um, realistic, I guess. I mean, I've done things that are realistic, but not at the level of having actual shacks or ugly buildings, because in the past it was more about um, what can you do with the, with the city itself, more in the general uh, vision, and this time I am looking more at the details, looking more at these small imperfections that bring up the realism to the next level. Uh, and I wanted this little town or shanty town to have a little bit of story, a little bit of personality, and, and you can see that there's a, a lot of abandoned cars, there is uh, there is trash around, there is a lot of dirt, uh, some grass patches. The, the decals bring a lot of detail as well, because um, I don't know, uh, I wasn't really a big fan of decals in the past, but as soon as I started playing with them in this, uh, when I was doing this video, I, I fell in love with the decals and I fell in love with the amount of variety they can bring to, to your creations. So, uh, you can see that they really make the difference if if these decals weren't here and only these this, this little shacks and the, the road, then it would look kind of meh, in my opinion. But, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just amazing to have all these assets <laughs> and mods that actually make this possible. And you can see that I am also rotating a little bit the, the shacks so they don't look directly into the, the road. So this way you have a little bit more of randomness in the in the formula and it actually feels like there is a little bit of chaos going on and it doesn't look perfect. And as, as long as it doesn't look perfect, I guess the realism is going to pop up or pop out and you can see the result. Uh, and personally, I like it. I love the way this uh, small town, small shanty town is looking. There is something that I want to try, which is trying to evolve uh, the uh, different areas that I built. So uh, none of this should be considered finished, but I guess that's going to be too ambitious and we're going to have to see it. So I'm going to try to expand just a little bit more this shanty town and after that I will do something else and I guess that's it for uh, today's episode and I hope you have enjoyed it hope you like it and if you do like what you see in this channel consider subscribing and if you do please consider pinging the bell next to the subscribe button this is it pretty much for now thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one hasta la vista